The Heritage of Alaska. Brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska. Here is your host, Elmer Rasmussen. 1,785 miles west of Anchorage, down the Aleutian chain is the island of Attu. It is the last island of the Aleutians, and it is located more than 400 miles into the eastern hemisphere. This is the home of the famous Attu basket, the finest, most delicate piece of artistry developed by any native culture in Alaska. Today, Attu baskets are a rarity, practically museum pieces. If you own one, you are very fortunate. The Attu baskets are unique for several reasons. The Aleuts will tell you that the Attu grass is the finest and tallest of all the grasses on the chain. Infinite patience and care are taken in the construction of Attu baskets. The grass is cured for several years, then stripped of its outer coating, and only the finely textured heart is used. Attu baskets take weeks to make. The grass is kept wet while it is being woven so that it will be pliable, will mesh tightly, and will keep the basket symmetrical. Before the Russians came to Alaska, the Aleuts wove baskets as big as saucepans and kettles. These baskets were so tight that they held water and did not leak at all. They had distinctive decorative designs made by dye from berries and bark. In later years, when trading ships brought silk thread of many colors to the chain, the Aleuts wove this into their baskets to produce different colorful designs and patterns. Last summer, Mary Louise and I met Mrs. Paraskovia Wright, who was born in Attu, and who is believed to be one of the last of the Attu weavers actually making these lovely baskets. As a young girl, Paraskovia was taught the art of Attu basket weaving by her grandmother. And as she grew up, she was regarded as one of the most skilled weavers in the village. Paraskovia was 17 when the Japanese captured the island of Attu in 1942 and took the 57 inhabitants to Japan. She told me that the Japanese officers admired her baskets and allowed her to take along packets of Attu grass. But she found no time to weave. During the two and one half years, the Attuans were prisoners of war. They worked in the clay pits of Hokkaido. 30 of them died in Japan. Of the 27 who came back, Paraskovia was the only one who had the full knowledge and skill of basket weaving. After the war, the federal government consolidated the dwindling villages of Attu and Atka, and Paraskovia lived for a time on Atka. Today, she lives in Anchorage and has raised a family of four children. Last summer, Paraskovia demonstrated her weaving skill and displayed her baskets at the Anchorage Centennial's Igloo Puck exhibit. She created so much interest that several local citizens set about to work out a way for her to pass her skill and art on to the next generation. I sincerely hope that this can be done. Attu basketry must not disappear from our Alaskan civilization and culture, for it is indeed a part of the heritage of Alaska. The Heritage of Alaska has been brought to you in the public interest by the National Bank of Alaska, your statewide banking institution with 21 locations to serve you. Be with Elmer Rasmussen again next week at this same time when he relates another story in The Heritage of Alaska.